Hi everyone, welcome back to My Crafts and DIYs. So in today's video, I am going to be making three of these Victorian style antique looking storage containers. I'm only going to do one of these on camera. They'll all be made the same exact way. The only difference is, is one of these is going to be a plastic bag dispenser. So the lid is going to be a little bit different, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. For right now, let's get into the items that you'll need. One clean coffee can with the label removed. Mod Podge, paint color of your choice. I'll be using Canary Yellow, Antique Parchment, both from Apple Barrel, and Waverly's Chalk Paint in Truffle. A napkin or some tissue paper. A paintbrush, a sponge applicator, and an X-Acto knife. So I'm going to start first by mixing up some paint. So the only reason why I'm going to be painting the can is to tone down that silver a little bit. Because the napkin is so thin, if I was to rip the napkin or something, it would camouflage any errors that I make. I'm going to put this aside and let it dry and while this is drying I'm going to get started on my napkin. So I am going to prep my napkin now by removing the border. This is a two-ply napkin. I'm going to remove the napkin back and then I'm going to cut the napkin down the middle because one napkin will cover two cans. I know I've said in a previous video that that I won't use napkins in my DIYs because I always rip it or I end up wrinkling it. But one of the things that I did realize is that the wrinkling of the napkin is what gives it that antique look. The print itself, I would consider that to be a Victorian style print. Once you put the Mod Podge on, it kind of darkens it up a little bit and that adds more of that antique look to it. So that's why I decided to use it this time. Now I'm going to apply the napkin, which by the way I did get at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start first with the small paintbrush. I'm going to line the edge of my napkin up with the seam. Tack that down with the Mod Podge. And once I have the napkin secured, I will move on to the sponge applicator. I'm going to be doing this very slow, but I will speed it up in the video. So I ended up putting on an additional coat of Mod Podge and the second coat was very thick. I am able to handle it even though there is some tackiness to it. I'm going to trim off the excess napkin using an X-Acto knife set that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to line my X-Acto knife up with the rim up at the top here. 
and I'm just going to run the X-Acto knife as close to the rim as I can. I am going to do this in slow motion, but I will speed it up in the video. So my storage containers are done, and as I had said in the beginning, one of them is going to be a bag dispenser. The other two cans are going to be used to hold my artificial flowers. So the can that I'll be using for the bag dispenser, you will have to cut the cover. For this, I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to make four slices in the lid. Each slice will probably be about an inch long. It's very similar to cutting a cake in eight pieces. I am going to start off making an X through the center. Then I'm gonna cut across this way and then once down this way. And I'm not going to put it on this right away. I'm going to let this dry for about three days because if I put this lid on it now, it's going to stick to the paper. And when I go to remove it to replace the bags, it's just going to end up ripping the paper. I'm just going to show you how I store the bags inside the bag dispenser. There is two different ways. I'm going to go with the easiest way first. You don't fit about 10 bags into the can. Take the bag, squeeze the air out of it. Stuff the bag down inside the can. Hold the handles open. Put the handles of the second bag through the first bag. Fold it in half and tuck it in. You're just gonna keep on doing this until your can is full. So it would be squeeze the air out, Handle through handle, fold in half, and push down. And you push the handles through the slits. And I put my fingers down. And as soon as I see the other handles coming out, I stop them. And that's it. So that was one method. And the other method of using these bags would be to fold it in half the long way. Fold it in half the long way again. I'm going to fold these all first. So once you have all your bags folded, take the first bag, you want to take the handles of the bag and roll them over. Then you're going to want to roll up your bag. And you don't want to roll it too tight. It will end up pulling the second bag out. Take your next bag, put the handles down on top of the first bag, roll that up. And then you're just going to keep on doing that. Handle to bottom bag. So that's how they work. I will be using the first method, 
but they both do work. The only thing is the second one, the, the handles of the bags pull out a little bit further. Very simple project, easy to use, and a cute way to store all your plastic bags. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.